Four months ago, I made a video called Iris Dragonfly Doji Training Strategy 1000 times. If you haven't already watched that video, go ahead and check it out right now. The link will be right here. In that video, I go over what exactly a Dragonfly Doji is in the process of me coding it into uh, the trading algorithm. So if you haven't already checked that out, please go check that out first. But if you have, let's go ahead and get started. same exact C trader account as the other video. So now let's go ahead and go over to automate. We're gonna use the exact same program, Dragonfly 1.4. We're gonna go over to add an instance. We're going to be doing the US 30 eight hour and we're going to be back testing. Now, now that we're back testing, this is the most important part. Um, if you haven't already, uh, and if you do have this program, what you want to, want to do is click on the optimization, and find out exactly what numbers to type in to all of your parameters here. I've already done this, so I'm just gonna go to the back testing section and type those numbers in. For the dragonfly lots, this is how much volume each trade will be given. We're gonna be using 95 lots, which is actually extremely large for our $10,000 account. Uh, you'll see why in just a moment. This is the maximized result, the optimized result. Uh, in the stop loss settings, we're using the number 39. That basically means that the stop loss will be four times the distance of whatever the trigger candle is. Again, the trigger candle, uh, if you don't remember from the other video, it's the size of wick to wick distance of the dragonfly. And then we're gonna go over to the check length. We're gonna change this to 32. And the half dragon percent to 97. The bottom check length, that's basically just a setting to say what qualifies as a dragonfly. Um, and, and the half dragon percent, that's just saying if it's, uh, if it's not already below that percentage, that's where it'll place a buy limit rather than a mark, market execute. Because it's such a high number as 97, that means that it enters almost every single position automatically as soon as it finishes a dragonfly on the very next candle. Through my back testing, I've actually concluded that at least over the past two years, this has been the very best way to trade, which is really interesting. And you can actually use that for uh, your real trading on your even uh, non-automated accounts. So we're gonna go to the same date, January 1st of 2019. And we're clicking the visual mode so we can watch this play out. So we'll go ahead and click play and we can, just, we can watch it take the first trade and go ahead and increase the speed here to the maximum since we have so much time to get through. So I'm increasing the speed to 10,000 times speed. And as you can see with just the first trade, it's already getting to such a high amount. This is called overfitting. It's basically when uh, you, you find a trading strategy that is that works really, really well on a very particular data set. While the date isn't so random, January 1st of 2019, it's a very fair date to use. It still is an arbitrary date. This exact settings and uh, trading profile and program wouldn't necessarily actually work uh, given any other starting date. Some other starting dates will work still, but not uh, not any given date. I made a new version, um, that's the 1.6 version now, runs the 1.4, made the 1.5, now 1.6 is the newest one, uh, and that one lets you use any starting date because it uses percentage-based lots instead of a raw lot size. Uh, but this one is actually makes a little bit more money uh, because again, it is overfitted, so it's able to take advantage of that aspect of it. So now we're watching it uh, play out and you can see that it's already uh, increased a tremendous amount of money already. And it's it's going pretty slow here. Um, so we'll let this, this play on really fast speed. So I'll, I'll catch you guys once it's over. All right, so it just finished. Let's go ahead and go over the exact stats of how the program did. Uh, again, this is just for inspirational purposes. This is not something I'm trying to claim is the very best algorithm out there. Uh, there are definitely better algorithms, including my Dragonfly 1.6 is definitely a better program than the 1.4 version. This one uses a fixed lot size, while the other one uses a percentage lot size, which percentage lot sizes are obviously so much better. So one, of the, one key advantage of this program is it takes advantage of the fact that the Dow generally over the long term likes to go up. It, uh, the Dow definitely has a, an upward bias, and this program takes advantage of that by only buying. Um, so this program in its current settings will never never sell a stock. It will get out of buys, but never will sell a stock. 
Uh, and that's one of the key advantages of this one. It's why it works so well on the US 30 specifically. Uh, and it would actually, if you use this exact same settings on any other pair, it probably won't do so well. So let's go ahead and go over to the trade statistics and let's go ahead and expand this view. And as you can see here, let's go a little bit more. Okay, that's it. So as you can see, our starting capital was just $10,000. Our net profit was $3,253,655. So that's an absolutely phenomenal uh, increase on account. That's gonna be 32,000% gain, a little bit more than that. That's the percent gain, by the way, that's absolutely insane. Um, again, this is, this is, this is overfitted data. I just can't say that enough. Um, it only took 54 trades. So this is going to, this is going to have, this has a, a couple of key uh, takeaways from this program. This again, keep in mind, this is very, very optimized. It has only 54 entries over the course of two years. Most traders trade way, way more than that. I know a lot of traders that trade 50, 54 trades in, in a single week or even in a single month. So, uh, people that are doing that are definitely trading too much, in my opinion. And as you can see, it didn't even have a, a phenomenal win ratio. Uh, it did have pretty good risk management after, besides the first trade, of course. Um, but it did it did have 29 wins, including the first one. It's key. If it loses the first one, it pretty much loses. Um, and then the, it did have 25 losses. It had six losses in a row, seven wins in a row. The largest trade ever at any given single trade was a $441,000 increase on account. And the smallest trade, the, the biggest losing trade ever was $174,000 loss on account. Um, there are some extra stats here. We have a, a very, very significant max equity drawdown. Uh, again, this, I'm not trying to claim this is the very best program out there. Uh, that is a very significant max equity drawdown and also a balance drawdown. So what you can see the difference between the two is the equity is because it temporarily dove deeper, but it didn't actually take out, didn't actually hit any stop losses down there. It just temporarily went down and then re recovered after that. So those were that maximum equity drawdown trade had to be a winning trade in order for this to happen since it doesn't have any moving stop loss capabilities in this version of the program. If we scroll down a little bit, there's our sharp and Sorrentino ratio. That's really just for the, uh, the super nerds out there. Uh, including myself uh, and the average trade. So on average, given this uh, over the two year span, on average, it makes $60,000 profit per trade, which is absolutely great, of course. Uh, so again, this is a really, really cool uh, feature using IC market C trader. The commission would have been $9,000, which sounds like a lot, but keep in mind, it made $3.2 million gain on this account. So this is Definitely, um, again, it's, it's really just meant to be for inspirational purposes. I really hope you enjoyed uh, watching this. It's a really cool program. It's pretty fun to, to make these uh, quick little programming videos and, and just recap how exactly uh, we're doing with this. I do plan on, on making more of these on the channel. So if you do like this kind of content, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video specifically, go ahead and hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Uh, that being said, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.